Doggy bodyguard. Yeah, doggy bodyguard, exactly. <laughs> from the moment that we brought him home from the hospital, Gemma. <laughs> she followed him everywhere, I mean, constantly. And those first three or four years of his life, that was all she did. When Elliot went to preschool, oh my gosh, she was just like mopey. While he was at school is when Gemma was the saddest. She would just lay down on the couch all day looking out the window. We'll try to foster a kitten every kitten season. And with boops, that was our only intention. Boops was a little bit scared at first, wasn't he? Uh-huh. He was this little baby and she would just kind of push him around, you know? She'd get her muzzle and just push him, push him, push him. And he would kind of fight back. That was the first time that we had seen a cat like want to play back with her. It was such a cool thing to see because we didn't expect that. She finally had a friend. She had a playmate that she could mess around with during the day. He made a really big difference for her. Seeing the bond that they had, we couldn't really take him away after that. Boops and Gemma just play so often. like knocks around boots and she chomps him sometimes and sometimes you pet him and he's just wet. He's got Gemma drool all over him. Big cuddle snuggles. Gemma will just be laying down and boops will kind of like get in there and, and like start doing circles and just find like the perfect spot next to her. She'll eventually like put her arm over him and they'll both just be there passed out for hours. <laughs> Elliot went through this thing where he was like getting older and you know wasn't as obsessed with her. So it's such a sweet bond to see and it's awesome that it's like still continuing to this day. Thank you little buddy. Oops is my favorite because He's this nice all the way. Boops is your favorite.